Hey folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. What's going on? Today I'm going to do back to back two videos, two reviews basically. Uh, one is from House of Asaro, other one is going to be House of uh, Replica, Martin, M Mr. Martin Marciella. You guys know I have the sample pack, so I'm just trying to finish up uh, whatever reviews left. So that is going to be the second episode. So first episode I'm going to do is Asaro, and this fragrance it's uh, the last one from this, uh, I would say, uh, lineup because I have covered all the fragrances for men and women both of this bottle design. This is going to be Azaro Duo for men. Okay, this is thanks to Avik Bhai. I have this fragrance as a test unit, I believe. So that's how that packaging looks. Uh, this one's I have a problem with these bottles. All of them basically have the same problem of leakage. They are very old bottles. Uh, they were released long time back. So the bottles leak sort of from here, sometimes from the atomizer. So you see the bottle box caught a lot of the juice. It leaked basically. But I'm going to try to do the review nonetheless, tell you about the smell, how it smells, uh, what is it uh, like, who is it for, season, stuff like that. So basically, yeah, the box like, like this, it's 100, I think it's a 50 ml, sorry. And uh, this is made in France, and uh, that's pretty much it. Try to fix a little bit of the tape, but it doesn't help. So this one, the bottle is pretty much like this shape. Uh, if I put it like this, it will start leaking. So yeah, pretty much like this shape. And uh, here is the atomizer. You press here. And that's where the juice comes out. It's kind of a silver body. Uh, kind of a weird looking bottle. It looks like a droplet, water droplet, if you sit it like that. Uh, kind of reminds me of Bulgari Aqua bottles. Um, so this perfume, it's basically a darker fragrance. It's not the fresher ones like the other ones. I'll put the link below. You can check Azaro Duo now. And I believe Azaro Twin. These three all share the same bottle for men and women. So the uh, prices on these, you can still find it like... Uh, inexpensive I guess but some of them are, are really expensive like $85 and above so if they become rare the prices go high that's the general consensus and also here you find the batch code and a little bit of information here so the first thing the problem is that leakage issue I had the other one the twin black one that one also leaked like a lot of the juice fell off so I think it's the manufacturing defect of these bottles uh, nothing to do with this particular bottle and the problem and the problem is the top note of this has become gone bad uh, I get a lot of alcohol So anyway, I have it sprayed here for some time and I can tell you the dry down is pretty nice It's a basically a sweet uh, Fragrance for the winter time or cooler months. It's not a wind uh, summer perfume um, this fragrance it's I guess uh, Longevity is pretty damn good on this. I mean I got after wearing I think I got like in winter time around uh, seven eight hours so i guess it's good for longevity so that's the performance uh, second thing is uh the smell let's spray this sprayer is okay sometimes works sometimes doesn't but here you go okay let's just go two sprays and the sprayer works okay here so let it settle down a little bit uh, i guess when it was released these fragrances were not um, like this the top note didn't smell like this yeah i'm, I'm detecting absolute alcohol because it's gone bad probably uh, at least the top note is actually destroyed, but on a dry down, you can actually get the smell. So, uh, yeah, let, let it give some, uh, have some time. I guess the notes on this were like grapefruit, uh, juniper berries, a little bit of tonka bean, kind of woody. Uh, that's basically, and someone mentioned something like a fig note uh, in the comments of Fragantica section. Uh, I can kind of see that as well. So it's basically a sweet, fruity, a little bit dark, a strong fragrance, okay? So... Um, it's not totally unique. There are a lot of fragrance that smells like this. Okay, now uh, the alcohol is going away slowly. So you get that tonka bean has this sweetness, you know, dark sweetness, almost has that licorice vibe in this as well. So it's that dark sweetness, but not very daring. So I'm not going to call this a total uh, unique perfume, but it's good for Asaro House. It's kind of nice for the winter time. If you can score this for 30, 35 bucks, uh, this is going to be a good buy. And the perfume is going to be good for, let's say, casual usage. Uh, today, I think, last night it rained here in Bangladesh. So we are having kind of like a gloomy weather with a lot of fog. So if it's a little bit foggy, uh, 16, 15 degrees, this is going to be perfect with your casual jeans and your jacket and a muffler, okay? That's going to be really good for outing. You can dress it up, dress it down, but mostly it smells like casual. So there's a lot of tonka bean fragrances are in market which has this feel. I can compare this with Kenzo Purum Night, Kenzo Night, Kenzo Home Night. Uh, that one has a mango additional note, but that one has a tonka bean darkness. So this is similar to that. 
So overall longevity and projection, I'll give this like 8.5 out of 10. Very good projector longevity. And some people call it like a butt plug. I don't know. Uh, depends on people. People have issues with Rojas man, Perielis bottles. You know, it, it depends on people. But I think the bottle is just fine. But just that to avoid it from leakage, just uh, put it in the box and make it stand like this with the atomizer facing up top. So it, it's, if it's like this, that's when it's going to be leaking, okay, from the neck. Uh, the bottle color is pretty cool, silver, and uh, that's it. Pretty much it. It's just like if you don't have the box, it'll be a little bit difficult to make it stand like that. It is not going to do it, so it's going to take up a lot of space like that. So overall, this fragrance is not a must-have in my humble opinion. It's a nice fragrance, solid, sweet fragrance, but doesn't do that much. It's like very one-dimensional fragrance on the dry down. It's like a grapefruit slash tonka bean, and juniper berries. Yeah, okay, you know, like berry sort of like a sweetness there, but. Uh, it does feel like fig at times, you know, it's kind of like a dry kind of fragrance. So, suits that winter well. So, all this perfume, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. This is uh, Azaro, I think, a duo for men. Check it out. I think not that many reviews on this one. So, that's my review on this. Now, time to move on to the second review. It's going to be Sailing Day. See ya.